My friends, let's finally talk about the much requested topic of sweet picking today. I just came home from shows and masterclasses together with the awesome bass virtuoso Charles that you probably know from YouTube. And in one of these masterclasses, he asked me about my sweep picking technique. So in the following really, really useful clip, I will show you my best sweep picking exercises and how exactly I went from absolute beginner to pro when it comes to this playing style. I will also show you how to not practice sweep picking, a beginner mistake that I definitely recommend avoiding at all costs. You can do this as well. I promise it's not as hard as it looks. This is how it works. What about... Um Sweet picking. Finally, <laughs> you're just waiting for someone to ask. Yeah, so with the sweet picking stuff, I think there are, I don't know if there are a lot of bassists who who do something similar to this. I think you're the on, one of the only ones because you like to play six string bass. Mm. Um, but I think with four strings it's also possible. It's basically kind of a cool technique that combines the, the more relaxed picking approach of playing chords where you're just kind of strumming. You're not really playing chords like uh, playing string by string. You're kind of relaxed and letting the pick glide over the strings. And someone had the great idea, it, obviously it wasn't me, but uh, I think in the 80s or something, uh, someone had the great idea of going for a rhythmic approach with, the, with this kind of relaxed strumming. So instead of just doing something like this, doing something very rhythmical. Which sounds kind of cool um, and percussive, something I like to do a lot. And I think they actually started out like this with the technique, but once you apply distortion, which is what you should do, always, <laughs> um, when you play like this, it sounds like... Which is not that nice anymore compared to when I played clean you can really hear the notes and the pattern and as soon as there's distortion kind of it's just yeah, noise and the, the next idea was why not uh, try to separate the notes basically so really using the same approach but working a little bit harder with the fretting hands not just uh, playing one chord, but um, splitting it up into an arpeggio, could be a small one, like just on three strings, or it could be a bigger one, like a major, uh, doing something like this, where the focus is, uh, I, I don't want it to sound like, I don't want the notes to overlap, I want to separate them. To do that and if you ever feel like oh, this is something I really want to learn mm. the thing that helped me the most with uh, actually learning it is just a super quick interruption before we get to my most important sweep picking tips as always you can download the detailed guitar profile and tap pdf sheet with today's exercises on patreon.com burn over there you also get access to my complete 30 day sweep picking online course it starts with very slow and simple play along workouts so you're practicing all of these exercises together with me with those practice videos you get a great look at the picking hand technique and the fretting hand technique as well as you're practicing so you can just mimic what you see on screen and in 30 days we're moving from easy beginner exercises to intermediate immediate and even professional exercises at the end. And so far the success rate of this course has been absolutely crazy. Guitar players that basically couldn't sweep to save their lives before suddenly were able to attempt their personal favorite sweep picking sections in famous guitar solos and could also finally compose their own awesome arpeggio and sweeping sequences. So if you are struggling with this technique and you really want to learn it, this is the sign you've been waiting for. Just click the link in the description or in the first comment down below. Head over to patreon.com slash burn. Start the 30 day sweep picking course challenge today. If you start today in around one month from now, I promise you will be able to sweep pick like you never thought it would be possible before. The thing that helped me the most is starting with uh, big shapes, like five string shapes, mm -hmm. because most people start with three string shapes, like, or even just two string shapes, like doing something like this or something like that. And it's the same problem that we discussed before. You have to turn around the picking direction a lot from down to up. Yeah. If you just play that, and then you already have to play in the other direction. 
so I started to get a feeling for it when I started to play this classic arpeggio that most people will probably know, this the classic A minor one, which covers five strings. And when I play in, in this direction, um, I have more time to actually feel the movement than just doing the, the smaller one, which seems more intuitive, but is not in that case. And yeah, really the only way of doing it, for me, to be completely honest, I see a lot of people that start at 40 beats per minute and do something like... <laughs> which is really good to, to learn the shape and it helps a lot to practice very slow and to think about what you're doing. But I only got better at sweep picking once I did this and also that. So playing it very badly, but through a combination of playing it very slow and fast and bad, I actually kind of got a feeling for how the hand should feel like as soon as you speed it up a little bit. Because a lot of people, uh, I think, get stuck when they play it very slow. And pick every single string. Like that's the thing you want to avoid with sweep picking. Because you won't be able to play it very fast. So when you say picking, you mean like separate movement for every single yeah, note? Yeah, exactly. Rather than just gliding up and down. Yeah, right, you should still pick the strings. Right, okay. right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was a mistake. Yeah. Um, but most people just can't get rid of the... Yeah. of the individual downstrokes or upstrokes, and it should actually feel exactly like playing a chord when you... when you... So I'm not really thinking about each string and attacking that. Right. You want to try a super, super simple shape? Yeah, or? yeah, let's do it. Something like that. Nice. Something like that. Uh, so would it be like... Yeah, that's awesome actually. But you, you don't want every note to ring out, right? Yeah, I mean for a start that's actually great exercise for the for the picking because it looks really good nice yeah it's hard it's the next song yeah <laughs> it's gonna be a hit album <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> nice yeah. it sounds really good <laughs> I think more like, bass players should sweep pick. That would be interesting, yeah. <laughs> cool. You'd get so many hate comments though. Yeah, it's, it's, we, we get them anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you play uh, major inversion? Uh, yeah. Inversion. yeah. What do you think about it? I think it mostly uh, depends on the kind of arpeggio lines that you write. The goal is not just being the fastest one to, to play one arpeggio down and up uh, a lot. At one point you want to start mixing mixing patterns, um, so just mixing a three string pattern with a five string pattern, so uh, doing more stuff like this. For most shapes it's actually not that bad and I just posted an exercise on Patreon where you have to roll with your pinky finger for arpeggio shapes and people hated me for that so <laughs> I will not post anything like this anymore probably. But um, for me personally, finger rolling is, is not that bad for some reason. Like I'm not really muting uh, with the fretting hand when I'm doing it. It's, it's so I'm, I'm really, I'm really not, I'm not cheating, I swear. If I would mute, it would sound even more percussive. But when I'm not muting it, uh, it still sounds separated enough for me to do it with the, with the rolling. All right, my friends, thanks so much for checking out this sweet picking clip together with me. Don't forget to download all your practice files for this lesson on patreon.com slash burns with the link down below. As I mentioned before, you also get access to my complete 30 day sweet picking online course over there. So no more excuses. Now is finally the time for you to master this awesome technique. You will love it. Click the link below, join on patreon.com slash burn today. I'm waiting for you over there. Until then, have an awesome day. Bye bye.